Hi folks, and welcome back. You are looking at a human being that is leaving the house for the first time in three days. I'm not exaggerating. I have literally been locked away. None of the windows have been open, the doors have been closed. I've been on self-imposed hay fever lockdown. And today is the first day that it's calmed down a little bit. There's a storm in the air and I think the pollen count has reduced. So I thought I'd show you around today and you know, normally, if you've not been to your allotment in June for like three or four days, you would be just going crazy looking around at everything that needed doing and everything that you've not been around to do. But I have a secret and we're going to look at what my secret army has been doing while I'm away. That secret army is, of course, my parents and I am just so, so thankful. They've really stepped up over the past few days. I've been coming up every day to my plot, watering, weeding, and they started planting out a few things too. It's the first time I'm looking at these chilies in what feels like weeks. And to be honest, still a, a quite a bit of slow growth, to be honest. I think today's gonna be a bit of a tour video you do see this sometimes, um, the kind of the tops are just quaking over a little bit. I can see my dad's been watering these. I gave him that responsibility. <laughs> he was he was a little bit nervous, but he stepped up. And I think now I'm just starting to see the signs of growth, new growth on these plants. They did kind of stall for a while, but yeah, there's definitely some new growth. There's a tomato here that needs to go in a quad grow. Oh, this is fantastic. Look, this Kangstar Lemon Starburst, this one was hopeless. It looked completely hopeless. I thought it was going to go in the bin, but that is new growth. I can't believe it. It's still alive. The signs of growth on there. So I'm quite happy with the peppers, actually. The potatoes just outside in the buckets, they got a bit droughty. I really was not on top of watering those, but it looks like my parents have given them a good water. They're looking maybe a little bit pale. But, uh, oh, it's just so, so nice, honestly. Good Lord, the relief of actually just being back up here, not just outside, but on the allotment. And, you know, where people have been taking care of it. Oh, it's just, what a relief. What a relief to be back, honestly. Everything over here looking okay. Some of these beetroot, let's have a little look at those. Just starting to bulb up. There's a few weeds in here, but, uh, hey, really happy with those. Loads of green, loads and loads of green in the salad beds. Some more beetroot. I tell you what, the foxes, they went absolutely crazy. There's a hole there that I kind of filled in. But it was like a two foot deep hole. The foxes really are having a good time with the wood chip. French beans, they're, they're growing. It's, we've still had a lot of cold nights. Look at this. Look at this. You're in the wrong place, potato. Absolutely not. They could do it with a bit of a hand weed, but it's fine. There's things growing. That is the main thing. We've got a few leeks over here as well. Just nearly ready to give us some beautiful flowers. Oh my God, look at this. Do you remember I showed you those weird spinach? This one has gone to seed, but it's continued with a really weird growth. A lot of suggestions it was aphids and there are some aphids on here, but uh, you know, nothing crazy to cause that. I don't know if it's some kind of, I don't know, something. Oh, look at all this. So salads are coming along really nicely. That, some of that is, I think, cut and come again. So I could probably start harvesting that. Oh, it's so good, so good to be back. I wonder how the broad beans are doing. Ooh, is that normal? Is that normal coloration? He's a Sutton, a dwarf broad bean. A few of them are doing that. There is some, oh, there's grass in here, look. Some aphid damage, uh, not great. I feel like these probably could have done with some support as well. But, uh, oh, look, just down here. Marigold's coming up. Marigold's coming out. Wonderful. Some broad beans, not many looking like they're quite ready. Maybe this one, no, but I'm gonna wait until there's a good harvest on here. Rest of this bed, looking quite nice. There's one that I planted, there's a nice gap here. I'm looking at all the gaps because there's a lot of things to be planted out. There's a nice little tomato here. This is a Crimson Crush. I think these do quite well outdoors. It's going to sulk for a little bit. I planted this a few days ago. I just gave it a little kind of try support thing. Oh, prize winning lettuce. Honestly, so, so happy with those. Really, really pleased. And look at this, the verbena. Oh, it's just starting. Oh, it's just starting. 
And some of the cabbages, oh, some of the growth on here. These ones in particular on the far side, really starting to put on some good growth now, which I'm very pleased about. The red cabbages, not so much, but the foxes got in here and completely dug these up, apparently. My mum sent me a picture. She's kindly kind of replanted them, but I don't think the ones over here are gonna recover, but that's fine. And there's lots of space for new brassicas, and the new brassicas are in the greenhouse. So let's have a little look in here. Oh, some big stuff. <laughs> Holy cow. Um, what is going on here? Oh my goodness, the tomatoes are falling over and the squashes have like tripled in size since I was last here. What the heck? Oh my God, it's only been a few days. Hopefully I've got some footage of when I last showed you this. Let me get these out. Oh my goodness. I cannot believe that. They have literally just exploded. They have gone crazy. There's a few tomatoes up here. These are in pots. And these are destined, these are the ones destined for the quad grow. And they really have gotten just so big. <laughs> it's so, so oversized. Look, they've got fruit on them. Oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> that is absolutely wild. Here are the brassicas that I was just talking about, these baby ones. These are the cabbages for the bed. And down here, oh my God. Just more of the mature, later brassicas absolutely exploding. There's some more squashes down here. Like these are clearly quite root bound. Well, there's something they're not liking compared to the other ones. Wow. Tomatoes, um, I have just been in here very quickly. I think at the end of the last video and I've, I've kind of strung these. I wasn't 100% sure about the way to do it. But basically, I've got kind of a double line and then the stem goes in the middle and I'm hoping over time I can sort of do something a bit more proper. Unfortunately, one of the tomatoes, this one, one of the brads uh, just doesn't like it. It's not liked coming in here and it's looking a bit sad. Um, so we might lose one, but all things considered, that's not the end of the world. And there might be a bit more space because some of these look like absolute brutes. <laughs> this one's growing into the path already. The melons and the cucumbers looking really healthy. Here you can see early cucumber planted too early, looking all sorts of weird versus much younger, much later cucumber. They're the same variety. This one obviously needs a bit of support and what I was you know I was hoping to get a proper kind of upright support system going on and I wasn't I couldn't quite come up with anything I have got these wires that go across so for some of them I might be able to might be able to do something but I couldn't I was planning on putting that all the way across but you can see here there's nothing to put it into maybe I could do it into the side of the door frame or something but that's a that's a get it done at done at some point job for now that is just about okay, but goodness me. What really needs to happen is basically all of this, all of this needs to be planted out. The shelves need to come out so that, so that the quadro can go in. And uh, well, there's a few things up here as well. That basil has tripled in size. Some forgotten about aubergines as well, to be honest. I don't think I'm gonna get those planted. Probably run out of space for them, but better to have too many than too few. Maybe I can give them away as spares. <laughs> I can't believe how, how quickly things change. It really has just been a matter of days. Something has landed in my peas by the looks of it. I think a pigeon or something has landed on this and collapsed my peas. So my mum, she said that they needed support and now I can see why, but thankfully they are starting to pot up. Really, really happy with that. I was just walking to the new plot and guess what I've seen? Oh. There's another one. There's another yellow rattle flower in my mini meadow. There's some nice vetch in there as well, which will be really nice if we can get that established. I'll probably go through and manually take the seeds and scatter those in little, little scarified pieces, but that's so good. The new plot is looking pretty tidy, all things considered. You can see my dad's been beavering away with the, the strawberry bed. Oh, we've got our first raspberries and they're golden. They're a golden one. Oh, that's quite cool. I should say as well, one of the main reasons I wanted to come down uh, just quickly, I'm still a bit nervous about the hay fever, is uh, because I'm going away for a few days. I'm traveling up north for an event. Um, I don't go up north very often. I'm <laughs> a proper southerner. So um, yeah, I'm quite, well, sort of looking forward to that. You might be able to guess. But um, yeah, I'm gonna be away for a few days. So the channel will be quiet again. So I just really wanted to give a quick update. 
And I'm really glad, I'm so glad I came up. Oh. I'm really happy to see that the sweet peas, Steve's sweet peas are doing okay. They've just got a little temporary support for now, but that'll do. Again, that'll do for now. <laughs> the spuds still alive. One looks a bit dead. Um, they're definitely not the strongest spuds. Um, the, ones, the ones there, that looks like a strong row. But um, some of these earlies, I think I might tell, tell my parents to dig some of those up and help themselves and we'll see what that harvest looks like. The, uh, the rhubarb, I finally took this out of its uh, forcing little black Dalek composter because it's still going strong and now it's kind of in its rest phase. You know, we're going to let that just kind of recuperate and not keep harvesting from it. The onions, um, these onion sets that I put in, phew, well, not looking great, are they? Can you even pick out the onions from the weeds? <laughs> not great, not great, but my parents have been really diligently watering. Ah, oh, parsnips, we've got some actual parsnip foliage. Just, <laughs> just about, there's one. No, it's not great, is it? It's not great, but there is some. My mum's put in some lilies up here in Jess's flower beds as well. So that's nice. Nice to see the weeds aren't going too crazy and Jess's stock flowers are still alive up there. The onion beds, yeah, these are a write-off. And, you know, no, no matter how much time our parents spend up here, there's not much they can do about this. It looks like the lettuce are getting properly picked up by the pigeons as well. Very frustrating. But, uh, yeah, I think the plan for this, basically, we'll leave the shallots. We'll let them do their thing, but we're going to uncover this. My dad was sending me pictures. <laughs> this is how we were communicating. He'd send me a picture and then I'd annotate it. <laughs> so I think this is going to be prime squash real estate but the big event the big thing that i really wanted to show you and come and see for myself was this bed which my dad has dug over this was kind of unsightly it was just uh, covered over with cardboard for a really long time but you can see he's planted out not only the sweet corn on the right there it looks like maybe not 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 as many as i was hoping i think that was just down to poor germination to be honest a few of them have been pested which is a bit annoying. You can see that one lying down there. But the other thing is these, the celeriac have gone in. And you see they've been really well watered. They like a lot of water. So the sweet corn may be not amazing. How many plants have we got in here? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 out of 24 in the modules. That's not amazing. I'm hoping it's enough. There's a couple of little tiddly ones over there as well. I didn't count actually. I'm hoping these do get established and there's enough here for pollination. This is solstice, F1. So fingers crossed. Oh, there's some really just so thankful to my dad for doing all that. And just on here, oh, look at this. Oh my goodness me. Sour cherries that the birds haven't got somehow. I'm gonna take this one. Everyone leaving very helpful comments saying that these are great for baking. I'm gonna try one of these. Oh, it's perfectly ripe. Yeah, they're, they're, they've got the right name, sour cherry. Oh, wow. Oh, I can imagine that is quite nice in baking though. It is just uh, kind of wild to see, you know, how even with all my parents' help, there is still so much work to be done. It's one of those things it's hard to get across in videos. And um, if you've got your own allotment or garden, then you know how much work it is just keeping on top of stuff and making it look tidy at times. And, you know, to me, I'm looking around and I'm just so thankful for all the work that my parents have done. But that's one hand. On, on the other hand, you can see just how much work there still is to do. But the main priority is going to be getting those things planted out. And my parents have very kindly agreed to be planting out lots more squash and all that kind of thing while I'm away so once again just a massive thank you to my parents for just keeping on top of everything and making sure it's all ticking over while i'm away an extra special thank you as well to my chili pepper tier patrons tony bill pam louise michael mel denise socks and craig that was in one take i'm getting good i'm getting good folks <sighs> gonna head off i'd love to spend a bit more time up here but my hay fever is starting this eye this eye is just going. Um, yeah, wow, it's, um, yeah, it's really difficult at the moment, to be honest, just being cooped up inside when there are so many other things that you want to be doing, but this has been nice. So thank you for joining me and hopefully I'll see you again next time.